Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to stop faffing about. Please welcome Mr. Phil Walker. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please stop clapping. Oh, you have. It's all right. We're just giving you enough to we? It's not Donald Trump's not coming on. Don't worry about that. I'll just shift that back there. Thank you very much. Good evening. Yeah. Nice to see so many of you out. Give us a cheer. Who's from Lytham? Yeah. Well, quite a few. Who's not from Lytham? Yeah. Loads. <laughs> Loads not from Lytham. Where are you from? Blackburn. Blackburn. Oh, did you come in? Can you come in a car on Buzz? <laughs> car? Come in a car. Put it in car park. What's that? So like you're big in Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ten years in Panto. King George's Hall. Did you ever see me in Panto? Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> it's behind me. What, your career? Uh, what? <laughs> Are you from Blackburn? Are you? Really? What's your name? Marie. Nice. No, Marie from Blackburn. You've got to have ours in your name there, haven't you? Marie. Are you with Marie? The accused. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Is this na- What's your name, sir? John. John. Nice to see you. John and Marie from Blackburn. Come on. Living the dream. What brings you to live in them? Why, why have you come over here? You. To see me? You're not stalking me, are you? What do you do in Blackburn, John? Uh, not so much. Not so much? <laughs> He's retired. Oh, that's okay, yeah, well done. What do you do beforehand? I'd rather not say. You'd rather not say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was what? An international, An international spy. <laughs> God, from Black... From... <laughs> the name's Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Licensed to do nothing. <laughs> International spy from Blackburn. I like to see that. Are you ready to welcome our first section? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike, big, big Mike down the front here, would you start the applause and spread the clap throughout the room? It's probably not the first time you've done it. Just, just sort of spread, <laughs> spread it around the back of the room. And welcome to the stage, Ian de Montfort. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Ian de Monford. I'm a spirit medium. Um, <clears throat> let me explain to you how I do differ from any spirit medium you might have seen before. They have messages coming through for you from people that you knew, whereas I've got messages coming through for you from people you didn't know, OK? Um, <laughs> What I don't do is I don't have messages coming through for you from your family and friends that might have crossed over to the other side because I don't want to be seen to be profiting from people's grief, okay? (laughs) Right, because that would make me no better than a florist. (laughs) All right, um... What? Yeah, all right, one minute, I will come to you. Yeah, all right, I said I will come to you, just back off, all right? Right, the itching to get started, and I feel already a strong message for somebody in the room. Uh, I've got a message coming through, I believe, for a lady or a gentleman. Does that make sense with anybody? <laughs> um, uh-huh, right, thank you. Is there someone here what's had an elderly relative that's passed away? <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> So you're all from a long line of immortals, are you, right? (laughs) But Christmas gets expensive. Right, what I want to say about this gentleman trying to make himself known, the manner in which he passed was probably that what finished him off. Does that make sense? (laughs) And um, I feel it's probably something to do with maybe, I want to say a heart or lungs or head area. Um, 
I'm not saying that's what caused it, but when he died, they definitely stopped. <laughs> right,